Hey, it's Dave with Flipperforce, and this is a quick overview of the basics of using the Project Budgeter to manage your project budgets, track your project expenses, and forecast your project's profitability. The Project Budgeter tool is the main accounting tool which you can use to manage your project budget and track your actual project expenses. The Project Budgeter provides an overview of your project budget so you can see what you've initially analyzed for the deal and then manage your current budget and see how much you've spent to date and then forecast your budget overages and underages to calculate your profitability. So let's start with the first column in the Project Budgeter, the Analysis column. The Analysis column shows the values from your initial deal analysis performed using the Flip Analyzer tool. The analysis columns show the projected resale income for selling your flip, and then it deducts all of your expenses for your purchase, your buying, holding, selling expenses, as well as your repair expenses. The analysis column provides a permanent reference point of the values that you initially calculated when you analyzed your deal, which allows you to go back and compare your initial analyzed values to your actual expenses once the project is complete. This analysis column will help you understand which costs you underestimated or overestimated in your initial analysis and hopefully help you analyze deals more accurately in the future. Now the next column is the budgeted column which is used to set up your actual project budget for the project. The budgeted column initially pre-populates with your analysis values but then you can go back and change those values in the budgeted column if your budget is going to be different from your initial analysis. So you may be wondering why do we need both the budgeted column and the analysis columns? Well so again the analysis columns can be used as a reference point to the values that you calculated in your initial deal analysis. But once you get a property under contract and actually have time to perform a detailed due diligence of all the project costs and get bids from contractors, those values may be quite a bit different from your initial analysis. So the budgeted column gives you the opportunity to refine those values and input the actual values that you want to use as your project budget and your repairs budget. So now the next column is the to date column which displays the amount of expenses that you've spent to date and the amount of income you've received to date on the project. The expenses to date amount feeds from the expenses from the expense tracker tab and are categorized based upon your category selections in the category column. The income to date column feeds from the income generated on the property from the income tracker tab. The remaining columns, percent complete, projected, and variance are used for forecasting and comparing your actual project expenses to date to your initial project budget so you can forecast your budget overages and calculate your profit. The percent complete column is used to forecast the projected final cost for that category, which is then used to calculate the variance between your budgeted costs and the actual cost for the project. So let's say you had an initial budget of $4,000 for roofing, but there was a change order and the roofing ended up costing $4,500. Now if you're completely done with the roofing work, you will just simply input 100% into the percent complete column, which will then forecast the projected overage of $500 in the variance column. Now if you don't fully understand the projected and forecasting calculations, don't worry, we will be doing a deep dive in a separate forecasting tutorial. And that's a quick overview of the Project Budgeter. If you have any additional questions, please shoot us a message in chat or send us an email.